So, good afternoon and welcome to Finneyway Cookery School. We're back in the classroom. We're nice and comfortable um, and no horses to contend with as well, which is a bonus. So for this one, um, we're going to keep it again nice and simple. This is perfect brunch or kind of early week of the, um, early day in the week tea, smoked haddock rarebit um, on some nice toasted bread. So nice and simple, we'll run through what the ingredients we need. Piece of smoked haddock or to be honest, any smoked fish is nice. Um, butter, milk, cheese, I'm going to go with a bit of parmesan and some grillé. Creme fraiche, mustard, Worcester sauce, um, flour, lemon, nutmeg is optional, and any bread you want. So white, brown, it's entirely up to you. We're going to start by just kind of cooking or poaching the haddock. And the cool thing about this is it's all in one pot. So we're going to cook the haddock, and the, the milk we use for that um, is then going to make our little roux or bechamel. So nice and simple. We're going to bring the bit of milk. All the recipe ingredients and measurements will be online after this, so if you're not sure how much, well, it'll all be there. So we're going to crank the heat up on that, and we're just going to cook the haddock enough so it just begins to, to flake away. And then we'll take the milk out and make our bechamel. We'll, while we're waiting for that, we'll just slice our bread. This is kind of a cross between kedgeri almost um, and your classic rare bit. We're going to go a big old portion for this. That's fresh out of the oven as well. A few extras, a bit of nutmeg uh, and some lemon. Again, optional extras, you don't have to do them. So after about two minutes, three minutes, we don't want to cook the haddock all the way through because obviously it's going to have like a secondary bit of cooking under the grill. So it doesn't have to be completely um, cooked. You don't want to make it break down too much. So I would say I'm going to cook it. So yeah, three to four minutes total. And then we're going to just take the milk and pour it into our, back into our jug. Take your haddock out. So yeah, it's still got some life into it. And then in with another butter and we'll begin to make our, our roux. So melt that. This is one of those, obviously, classic bechamel sauce. If you get the grips of this, you know how far the world is your oyster. One of the first things you kind of pick up, or well, certainly I picked up when I started cooking. So melt your butter or margarine if you want to use some a non-fat dairy content product. And then we go two tablespoons, it depends how thick you want, but I'd go two tablespoons of flour, and the really important thing now is to really work it nice and hard. So we want all the lumps to, to kind of get out and disappear and to soak up all that melted butter. So yeah, take it off the heat. And whenever I'm making a real special sauce, cheese sauce, back and forth onto the uh, onto your heat. So it's much easier to get into it on your chopping board or by your station rather than constantly having it over the heat. And then I'm going to go in with my warm milk. A touch of salt, doesn't have to be loads because the, the fish is going to be quite salty as well. And we've got the cheese and palm down going in. So when that has started to become a really nice paste, we'll go with a little bit of milk each time. And yeah, don't be afraid to take it on and off the, the heat. You'll always get a much better consistency in your sauce. Really bit at a time, especially if you've got a silicone spoon, push through or a whisk if you want to. Back on the heat, work it. Extra seasonings, we're going to go a bit of English mustard, Worcester sauce, and creme fraiche to make it nice and rich. But if you don't want to add them. A really nice one actually this is you do like an Indian version. So you go some mustard seeds, um, some turmeric. Take it off the heat, a bit more milk. Work it through. We want it fairly thick because we want it to stay on the toast. Um, so yeah, don't be afraid to have it quite 
kind of glued like texture. So if, as we can probably see there, kind of holds the spoon, got a little bit more and then we're probably there. Lovely. So I'm going my mustard now. A teaspoon of that, find it nice and punchy. A bit of Worcester sauce. Nutmeg. Nice fresh, if you've got fresh and brown, it's fine. Good, generous grating of that. Off the heat. Bit of lemon zest. Because obviously we've got a lot of fat going on here. So we've got the cheese, got the creme fraiche, got the butter, got the milk. The haddock as well is going to be quite rich. We need something to cut through it. So a bit of lemon zest is perfect. You can take our feet completely now. Going to go with a bit of parmesan. They do say cheese and fish don't go together. There's various, various exceptions. I would suggest this, uh, this recipe and fish pie. I'll let you off. Load of cheese. Yes, yeah, so it's something like Emmental, good cheddar, Gruyere. Perfect. Black pepper. Whenever I'm doing a good cream sauce or something with dairy, black pepper is nice and important. And your creme fresh. And so a tablespoon of that. Give that a good mix. Now we can go back in, so you can see our haddock starting to break apart. And if we cook this too much, it will just go to peas, like literally to nothing. So you want to have those big bits of haddock come through. So combine that all in. There we go, and you've got this paste. And actually, if you did want to do this for, say, Sunday lunch, sorry, Sunday brunch, you can do all this the night before, have it in the fridge nice and cold, and then all you've got to do is put it on your toast and, and good to go. So I'm going to start this off with a bit of olive oil, and then we'll get the rest on. So toast it a little bit to start with, because you want it nice and crispy, and then we can go and put the rest on. So once that's toasted, you've got a bit of colour on the, uh, the actual bread, you can start to load up your, your rare bits. It's nice, as I say, quite thick. So we want it to stay on the toast. A little goes a long way. This is super, super rich and tasty. And then we just want to go back in the under the grill, get a bit of colour on. It's obviously all cooked, so you don't need anything any long at all. Just get some colour on it, make it nice and uh, nice and toasty and brown. We're going to finish off with some chives, so we can. Finely chop them. Austrian onions. Certainly, I think if you were doing the kind of the Indian version, so you slightly spiced one, you have some, as I said, mustard seeds, turmeric, paprika, spring onions would be lovely with this. I'm going to finish off with a bit more cheese because why not, eh? So after a couple of minutes, that should be nice and toasty. Got a bit of colour on it. Absolutely delightful. Super hot. I'd say half a piece per person. Or if you're greedy like me, I reckon I've got that easily by myself. Finish off with some chives, a bit more cheese. And there you have a perfect winter or tundle dish for a lovely Sunday. Um, check us out on phillyway.co.uk for the full recipes and for our foodie blog, or obviously get us on Instagram and Facebook for more videos and the recipe itself. Get cooking.